hammer down over to turn one and two, and off we go. They're three wide back in the middle of the pack. Keith Drost will lead them first time around. Brett Osmond is up in the second. Scott Eck back to third, then comes the 67 of Mike Haynes. Caleb Emerson mains fourth, then they're side by side from fifth position back, sixth position back. Three wide onto the front stretch. Brady Romano's caught there on the outside. Now Ashton Reynolds has got that outside lane all to himself, except now Bernie Dinsmore jumps out there in the three car. Billy Childs Jr. already making some ground in the one car as well. He's leading that freight train from the back of the field. A couple cars together in the back, but they drive away. Bernie Dinsmore making some ground there on the outside in car number three. He's up to the seventh position. In the meantime, lead pair comfortably out front. Keith Drost and the 05 of Brett Osmond. Ethan Densmore up on the outside and slow. That may affect that outside lane. Good battle back there in the middle of the pack. Billy Childs in the one, Josh St. Clair in the 51. They're battling for 11th and 12th position right now. Couple cars spinning out of turn two. Mack Hannon Jr. in the 08, 64 of Dean Rice. That'll bring out the first caution. Pace car is in and ready to turn him loose here to the direction of flagman Nate Senate. Green flag is out. Osmond got a good jump, but can't clear him. Dross comes back to reclaim the lead as they go down the back chute. They're three wide once again, down in the middle of the pack. Ashton Reynolds shooting the high side. Big wad of cars from about fourth position back. Caleb Emerson and Dan Brown. Mike Haynes in the middle of that mix as well. Reynolds has to bail on that third groove. Oh, a couple St. Clair cars nearly getting together. Kurt Hewins and Ashton Reynolds had some contact in the turn one. Everyone scrambling to get around the 26 of Scott Wiggin. Couple cars sideways. Bernie Dinsmore and the double zero of Chad Wills and we got a yard sale over there in turn number two. Ryan Eastensey has a wheel that rejoins him and they're gonna go red with a bunch of uh, cars blocking the track over there. I believe uh, they're get over to check the drivers real quick but uh believe everyone's all right bernie densmore hopping out of the number three there's uh believe the 14 of ashton reynolds is down there 49 of Eastensea. 63 is over there a couple cars uh We'll have to check with race control to see which one's a uh, call in this one. Couple cars stopping just to avoid the wreck. There's.
is the 14 of Reynolds. His day coming to an end, unfortunately. As I said, he comes into the weekend as the top rookie in the Strictly Street Cassidy. Division here at West Cassidy. I enjoy listening to that podcast every Tuesday when I'm delivering mail. Oh, catch him on the yeah. pit side. He wanted to be with him no matter where as he Darryl goes. As Daryl Waltrip would always say, you picked a fine time to leave me loose wheel. No. No, I won't say it then. We are back underway. Green flag is out. Keith Dross wrestles the lead back once again from Brett Osman. Keith gunning for his first Wiscasset win. Eighty-three of Dan Brown up on the high side, trying to get third away from Scott Eck. The Emersons are up there on the outside row as well. And as I said, watch the three of Bernie Dinsmore. Mac Hannon heading back down pit road. Dan Brown's now up into the third position. Josh St. Clair in the 51 on the outside looking in right now in the sixth position. Looking to crack the top five. He started back in 19th and he's up to sixth. St. Clair still picking his way along that outside lane in the 51. Single file, they go down to turn three. Keith Dross trying to go wire to wire. Closest battle right now for second, the 05 of Brett Osman. Unable to advance to this point, Dan Brown puts the bumper to him. Brown in third, and here comes the 51. Josh St. Clair, 19th up to fourth. Zach and Jonathan Emerson uh, faded back here in the long green flag run. They were almost up to the top five, but now fading back a little bit. Jonathan right now running in 10th as your point leader coming into the weekend. Josh St. Clair takes over the third spot. Now has a fender up alongside the 05 of Brett Osmond. Josh making the outside lane work. He's got a fender up to second now on the outside. Put the 51 car now into second. As he's advanced 17 positions in this race. And he is the fastest car on the track right now, chasing down Keith Drost. Josh with two Strictly Street wins, trying to pick up win number three, but time's winding down. He's gonna have five laps to go when they come to the strike. He is within a car length now with a 74 of Keith Drost. Yeah. 
Dan Brown able to race around. Brett Osmond put the 83 car into the third spot. And Josh setting up outside of the race leader now. This next time by two laps to go. Will it be Drost in his first win? Will it be St. Clair in his third win? Scott Wigan, the only lap car to deal with right now. As they come out of turn four to get the white flag in one lap to go. Oh, Drost overdrove it into turn one. Hang on to that thing, son. Josh St. Clair takes the lead. Drost, great save. Keeps it in second. St. Clair gets the win. We're gonna hand him his third place trophy. Let's give it up for number 83, Dan Brown. Dan, boy, you and Brett had a good run going there. You, he kept the low side coverage. You were just waiting and you had to do something, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, when Josh went by us, I was like, I gotta try outside. It's all I had for a chance. So um, that's what we did and uh, I'm happy to be in third place. So are uh, you getting ready for the big show? Absolutely. Yes. So uh, who do you want to thank today? Um, my crew, um, Benji. My girlfriend, Christy, Evelyn, Zach Bowie, um, who else is over there? My parents, of course, and uh, almost just had everyone it. that helped me. With Man, what, what? Tell us what happened. Oh, I think I was just a little excited when Josh did in my mirror. I drove him a little hard. So. Hey, listen, you're not the only person to see a St. Clair in their mirror and get a little nervous around here, okay? <laughs> but great job, man. You won your heat. You ran it wire to wire pretty much to the last lap, and uh, he got you, man. But it was a good run. This car was on rails. Yeah, well, I got to thank that to Ben Ashline. He's uh, he's helped me through all this. He's he's an amazing guy. All right, is there anybody else you want to thank today? I do wish I'd have got number one for him, but we'll get it for him. Yes, I want to thank my wife and daughter that always comes. Um, Gil and Junior's always helped me as a car. Uh, I got to thank my sponsors, IDO Recycling and Platinum Core. If you want to sell your cats, you want to go there. And also, if you want your car to go fast, you need to go see Ben. All right. Well, I don't think you can take. Any less than first place behind that kind of gap there. Congratulations. Boy, on I think you place. timed that just about right. Wait, 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 were you looking at your watch saying, not yet, not yet, not yet. Great job, man. Josh St. Clair taking your feature win today. Josh, you, uh, you almost ran out of time, man. If he didn't overdrive it into turn one, you, it would have been tough. Yeah, it was over going into one. I thought I was going to follow him, maybe make a run down the backstretch. But uh, I see him watching me back there, and I think he got the best of him. I don't know, but... Uh, I got to thank Dad, you know, he built this car and then he couldn't drive it. So it's a blast to come out here and wheel from the back up through them guys. It's a, it's a real good time. And, and thanks for everyone for coming out to support this weekend. You know, it's, a, it's good to see the stands full. And uh, hi to you up there waving. <laughs> so now I know you're going to go jump into your other car and run the big race today. But, I mean, honestly, no one's watching. What do you have more fun driving? I, I think these things are pretty fun, you know. You can touch and bump and no one gets all weird, you know. We can, we can get along still. So... <laughs> You know, we'll see what happens in the next one. All right, guys, let's hear it for your top three. Dan Brown, Keith Ross, and Josh St. Clair, your feature winner. <laughs>